Do you have any good stories about wigs? Uh, <laughs> Why on earth would I acknowledge on camera any good wig stories? Yeah, every producer hates wigs. Wigs are the bane of the producer's existence. You know, Jen Lawrence is, she is a really great girl. She never acts out. Her one act of complete defiance was to cut off all of her hair to make sure that we knew that she would not be dyeing her hair anymore. Good wigs. Wigs, any good uh, or bad that you remember? It wasn't a wig, but on the Da Vinci Code, Tom Hanks's hair was really criticized. We thought it looked okay. I once had this, uh, a wig on Marion Cotillard on this movie I did, and the man who put the, who designed the wig and put it on, it wasn't available for one day of shooting. So I said to him, who would you recommend, you know, putting the wig on, on our actress tomorrow? And he said, with total seriousness, there is no one else. Wig? Actually, yeah, wigs. wigs. Anything with wigs. How about my wig now? <laughs> <laughs> I will say that in terms of hair, like half of my job is begging our actors not to get haircuts in the off season and not to dye their hair and not to get tattoos. We have very beautiful, responsible actors who cannot help themselves and get tattoos every time our show is shut down. An actor in a major show we were doing a pilot of after we had shot a lot, uh, he had gotten a haircut. I knew early in the morning that he was getting a haircut. I didn't expect that when he walked in mid-morning, uh, he wouldn't have a hair on his head. It was beyond one's ability to talk about it. It was, it was uh, the ultimate. When we did Galaxy Quest, Sigourney Weaver fell, fell so in love with her wig and her fake breasts that she used to leave the set and not go buy makeup and hair and spend the rest of the day wandering around as a big boob blonde. 